one of the people that got the paper full effects asked me how they could do a stop motion effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now, to be honest, there's an easy way, there's a simple way, and there's an even faster and better way. There's a few other more too, but we're just gonna cover those three in this video. Before we start, I wanna quickly answer one of the questions they had. They wanted to know if there was a way to actually freeze frame these or like they wanted an intro and outro control for the future updates which is something that i'm going to look into but as you know by default the actual generate generators they come with an animation so how do you freeze frame these if you don't want the animation to happen and this is for those of you that have the paper full of fix right so all you have to do for this is this time stretch right here is not uh here by default so you're just gonna basically open the generator and then you're gonna press control spacebar and then you can add a time stretcher and then here you will select one of the keyframes that have that's after the whole letter or the sequence has shown the whole letter in this case we can just do 20 right here press double click on source time and then set 20 and now if you press 2 on this time stretcher the whole thing is gonna freeze frame Okay, and this is if you don't want to create compound clips of all the letters like I showed in the previous video. All right, so now let me show you how do we create this stop motion effect. So let me start by showing you the simple way. In this case, I'm going to first explain on what I did on the K, which is I used that method on this K right here. For some reason, the keyframes are not showing up right here. But if I open these, we can see that this position node has keyframes. If I press two on this one, I can see it moving and it's a pretty linear animation. I only did this. I created that first keyframe outside of the screen, brought it in a little bit, then a little bit more, and just did that basically, right? Now, in this case, what I really only animated uh, on these little extra ones that we have here is the angle. Because as, you, as I told you, this is the easy way. After that, you only animate the first position, the last position, and then the angle in between. You don't have to adjust anything else. Then what you want to do is add a stop motion effect. After you add the stop motion effect here, you will just select the frame repeat and play around with that. And then you have stop motion like that. Now, let me quickly show you these same exact process on this image here that we have of the DaVinci Resolve log. First of all, we have this media in. Since this resolution is different than, than our timeline, what I want to do is add a background node, press Ctrl T, and on this background node, we can make this transparent, and then go to image, deselect auto resolution, and I'll put this to be the same as your timeline. And that way, on our timeline, it's going to look the same. It's going to be easier to worry that way. Here, what you want to do is to your media in which is the element that we are using press ctrl and spacebar and add a transform node we can adjust the size on these go to frame zero bring these out of frame now click here to create a keyframe then we're going to go to frame let's say 25 bring these back to center and then we're going to do the angle keyframes so create one less right here go to the beginning create another one you can start this one at any angle that you want. Go a few frames forward. There's not really a set amount that you have to choose, right? Just play around, use any values that you want. Do these a couple of times and you will have a linear animation of the logo moving like that. Then simply press Ctrl and spacebar and add a stop motion effect. I think this stop motion effect is also available on the free version. If uh, it's not, then let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure it is. All right, now if we press play, we see how this issue happened right here. That is because we added the stop motion here with the media in as the base canvas. If you do that, then it's gonna take that first initial resolution. So what you wanna do is go to stop motion or select it holding shift, bring these to this side right here. And now it will take it as if it was just a normal canvas of the size of your timeline. And that's how you can create that simple stop motion effect. A quick little interruption, as I mentioned a couple of times already, the paperful effects is what brings you these videos. So if you wanna create some collage effects on your videos in just seconds, make sure to check out the paperful effects for DaVinci Resolve that I created at paperfulleffects.com. Let's continue. 
Now let me show you the O. So on this O, open this infusion. I didn't use the stop motion node. So if the stop motion node is not available in the free version, then you can use this method, which is pretty similar. All I did on the position node was create that initial key position. Few frames forward, you also have to move the position in this case so that there's a keyframe. And then also the angle like that and then there. And that first part of the process is pretty much the same. Now open the spline tool and on the spline tool, we're going to see all the keyframes that we just created. So I'm going to click zoom to fit and by default, when you see them, they're going to be linear. So they're going to be like this. And then all you have to do is press Ctrl A to select them all and then go right here and choose either the step in or step out. If you step out, then the first keyframe will happen already right here. If you step in, then the animation or the movement will happen right on these on where the keyframe is marked right here. That's how you can create the easy stop motion effect. Now, let me show you that same thing with this image. We already have the base canvas. I'm going to get rid of the stop motion. We have the angle keyframes. We're just going to use that same one. But in this case, we don't have the position keyframes. So what you can do is either just create the keyframes right here, or you can actually manually move these a little bit, and then you will have a keyframe being created there automatically. When I move it like that, the keyframe is created automatically. Let me press play and we can see the linear movement of these. Opening the spline tool again, we can check the transform node and we can see that all of these are linear. So we're just going to select these and then press step in. Now we can see the stop motion effect. Now in this case, it's a little bit more like each step or each frame that you have or each stop motion frame that you have, it's going to be a little bit different because you have the individual adjustments that you can make on this one, right? If you use the other method, which is the one with the stop motion node, then it's always five nodes or it's always five frames that has that little cut that it happens because of that stop motion node. Now, let me show you the fastest way of doing this, which is by using a tool that I created. So we're going to reset this fusion composition. If you go to the effects right here and find EC stop motion, well, this is after you have downloaded this little tool that I created. After you add this effect to your element, you have these options right here. If we add a key from right here, let's say we can adjust the size as well. We can add a key from of these outside. Go a few little bit forward, set this up to 0.5, like move it around like that until it gets to center. Not sure why it's not in the center when it's 0.5, but you get it's all right. Now we can also play around with the angle. Got a few frames around there. Move this like that. Maybe adjust the size a little bit. Then we start again. It's ready. Oh, I know what's happening. So if I press, if I put this to one, you can see the animation happening normally, right? So that's why when I put the initial one at, at 0.5, it was not showing at the same place, at the correct place because of this frame repeat. So a quick tip would be to bring the frame repeat to one when you're creating the animation and then simply just put these to four or five or whatever amount you want. And then you simply press play and then you're set. That is how the easy stop motion effect works. Now, there's this media source right here. And the reason for that is that somebody asked me about using some of the stuff for the paper full effects inside Fusion. So I was testing this out on this effect. So I'm going to open this in Fusion and I'm going to bring the stop motion, the easy stop motion effect here. Then you can simply press two and nothing's going to happen because there's no media in on this one because we have to select the media source. You don't have to click on media pool here. You can simply drag whatever element you want to use and then drag it on top of this section where it says media source. That will add these there and you are good to go. Now, the only issue here I think it might happen is that we have the element. Let me see. It's going to be covering 
that square section right there. That is something that I'm gonna have to probably fix. So by the time that you download this, it's probably gonna be fixed. Now, if you wanna use an infusion, all you have to do is that. I'm gonna turn this, I, I could turn this into a group, that way it's a little bit easier for you to adjust if there's any issues when you're working in Fusion. So that way you can use these inside Fusion and also in the edit page as an effect on top of the element. So you can use whichever method you like best. So that is it for this video. Make sure to download the easy stop motion effect. Also drop a like on the video if you enjoy it and also leave a comment that way this video gets to more people because that is the only way to show the algorithm that you enjoy this video and that you care about it and that you want more people to know about this. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, make sure to check out this video right here in which you can find maybe a quick lesson or a tutorial or you can find some other tools that you might find useful when working in DaVinci Resolve.